Hello and welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Super Mario World. I'm Digital Insanity. Alright, so, uh, wow. I really hope this video isn't a, a video of painful, epic fail. But, uh, uh, guess it's not a water level like I thought it would be. But at least the videos, I mean, uh, the screens are not scrolling all the way to the right, so. Uh, let's hope for the best. This, level's, this level doesn't have any secret exits either, so. Hopefully it'll be easy. And hope... Yoshi... Yoshi's just being a dick for some reason. He's He just keeps running off. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just like, nah, I hate this game. Ah, I'm gonna commit suicide. It's too painful to watch you die constantly. Enough of that. Man, those Koopas were really annoying in the last level. And they're annoying now. You know, I'm just gonna... Whoa. What the heck? Uh, I just saw a review for Sonic Unleashed. Uh, that's a bit disappointing, actually. I saw a review on IGN.com. Gave them, they gave the game a 7.2. Uh, God, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought the game would get a, a high score, but uh, it looks like no. It looks like Sonic Team still hasn't made a good Sonic game. They say that... Uh, like the levels where it's daylight and uh, you're running left and right across the screen and uh, it's an homage to the classic Sonic games. They say it's really fun, it's really great, but uh, they say as soon as you turn to Wolf Sonic, shit, uh, they say that it really starts to lose its fun. They say that the daytime 2D platforming sequences are much better. I mean, I, I would definitely guess that they'd be better, but that's a bit disappointing. I mean, why didn't Sonic Team just try to give us another great Sonic game with just uh, the same formula as the last one. I mean, that's what the Mario games do, like with Super Mario Galaxy. It takes pretty much the same formula from uh, shit, Mario 64 and just makes it even better, perfects it a bit. Like, why can't Sonic Team do that? Sonic Team, if you're watching this, well, actually, it's highly doubtful that you are. Uh, well, let's just hope that they make a good Sonic game sometime. I mean, Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood also got a not that very good reviews, so Sonic's kind of heading down the toilet. He's heading down the crapper. Whoa! Holy crap! This is hell. What's going on? This is like the land of the flying suicide, flying Koopas. Oh, fortunately, I can get to the end. Yay. I heard about this uh other game called uh Dead Space. It's uh it's supposed to be a really freaky game. I wanted to download a demo, but I don't think there is a demo. Uh th see the thing is uh there's a secret level that we need to find uh here on the cheese bridge, but what we have to do is we have to go all the way back, we have to get a feather, so uh we can find the secret exit, but until then, I'll just talk. Um, uh, this game called Dead Space for Xbox 360 and uh, PlayStation 3. It's looking really freaky. I saw a trailer for it, and uh, it just showed this uh, space station in space, and uh, all you heard was this girl singing, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, and then it showed like a very quick burst of like a monster attacking, and it scared the shit out of me. It, it like startled me. So it looks like a pretty good game. Looks like it'll be a good uh, horror game. I don't have many horror games, but uh, seems like the story will be a bit similar to Bioshock. And I liked Bioshock, except this is like a horror game in space, so I think I'll check that out. It should be cool. Don't want to soil myself. Don't want to have to clean up the carpet after playing it, though. Uh, okay, enough talking about that. Let's just keep going. I like how uh, in the world map on this game you can uh, find shortcuts to uh, get around faster when you're farther in the game. Right now we haven't found too many shortcuts though, so uh, we have to take long hauls to go back and get extra lives and extra items and stuff. We're just going to fly through this. Or maybe that's probably not a good idea. Let's just try and be safe on this level. This level is actually pretty easy. Just got to deal with killer chainsaws. No gore in this Mario game, though. 
I heard that uh, there's this guy named, uh, I forget what his name is, but he made, uh, I think his name's Suda51. I don't know if that's his name or if that's the company he's in, but uh, this guy, he uh, he made this game called No More Heroes. I've played it. It's pretty good. And uh, he said that he wants to make a gory Mario game. <laughs> that'd be that'd be kind of funny, but let's hope we don't uh, we don't ever see that. I mean, like, let's leave the gory Mario games to stuff on Newgrounds and Flash Player, because there are plenty of gory Mario videos there. So, uh, I don't think Shigeru Miyamoto would agree with that. Once Mario would be like the kid-friendly. How the hell do I get over there with Yoshi? I think I gotta fly. Let's try flying. Here we go. And this probably might not work. Or will it work? Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Alright, so the trick with this uh, secret level is you have to fly right underneath it and you have to jump off Yoshi. You gotta kill Yoshi, but uh, on the bright side, you'll get a secret exit. Watch. Ha. Killed the dumb dinosaur. And you get a few extra lives. Alright, let's see if I can time this perfectly. Yes. Good job, Mario. This is a much easier, less frustrating video, less cursing, and uh, less dying, so less frustration for both of us. Alright, now here's the water level I was talking about. Soda Lake. Alright, let's go. I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of underwater. Holy crap. Underwater torpedo bullet bills. I just haven't played this game in a while. I haven't played all the levels in a while, so that's why a few things seem unfamiliar. And how come... Wait, look at this. What's with the Mickey Mouse hand? You see that? That's a Mickey Mouse hand. Mickey Mouse is bombing video game characters underwater. Bastard. Bastard mouse. Can't even kill him. He's a sneaky bastard. He's like, haha. Mario's more known around the world than, than me, but if he dies, I'll be the most popular cartoon character ever. Mwahaha. That's actually true. Mario is more recognized than Mickey Mouse. I mean, Mario's probably the most recognized cartoon or kid character. Well, I wouldn't say kid character, but the most recognizable uh, character in a video game. And even more than a cartoon ever, so... That's pretty cool. Alright. Crap, this is hard. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. This is a pretty good video. Oh, oh, oh! Whew, that was close. Did the fish were in the goggles again. It's a little strange. Come on, Mickey. Why don't you just kill the fish? Go back to Disney, Mickey. Nobody wants you here. Nah, screw Disney. Disney sucks now. You see, like, all that Hannah Montana high school musical shit. Hate high school musical. It's so dumb. Like, if, I'm serious. If you went up... Like, you know, like, when you... T if you if anybody says anything to the high school musical performers, they just instantly just go out into song. Like, if you went up to them, like, with a gun or something, and you're like... If somebody came and, like, tried to suicide bomb their school... They'd be like, guns are bad, guns are bad, guns are bad, da da da. They just break into song. Then when you start to kill them, they'd be like, no, pain is bad, don't, don't, don't hit me, it's bad. And then, like, when they die and go to hell, they'd keep singing. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Ah, oh, Star Road thing. We're not doing Star Road yet, though, so let's do that later. Alright, the video's over now, so, uh, uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario World, we, uh, uh, go to find more secret levels, I think. I think we're, uh, getting close to going to Bowser's, uh, canyon, but I think we gotta beat all the Star Road levels first. I think we've gotten every single secret level up until now. Uh, I'll look it up later, but, uh, alright, thanks for watching, and catch you later.